Morning guys, welcome back to another day. We're gonna talk rust repair and floors and all that good stuff. So when it comes to doing uh, some rust repair stuff on your floors, it's real easy to open up Pandora's box. Well, I mean, we're already beyond Pandora's box. You gotta pick and choose how far you wanna go because it is very easy to, you know, you get way too far involved and end up you're like okay now i'm at a point where i'm gonna replace the whole floor pan when in all honesty you really don't need to so let's get in take a look talk about some things so here we got top view versus spaghetti and stuff on my floors you know you can see where the rod is and where the rust is a lot of the metal is still pretty straight oh i shouldn't say straight solid i think that's a better word uh this i believe is seems to no it's just see, a lot of this was just heavy surface i mean yeah I, okay <laughs> that's not heavy surface that's right we know that and they had some shit riveted over it but well, let's go to the bottom side take a look so if we get in here on the bottom you know, you can kind of see and kind of put a game plan together. So I think what we're going to do is end up cutting it. Well, we're going to straighten all this out. You know, like I said, there's a lot of stuff that you could end up winding just going deeper and deeper because, you know, rust goes everywhere. And I tell you what, sometimes you can get away with just treating it with rust preventer. Um, like I said, uh, my day job, you know, we, we deal with some very highly corrosive uh, products to metal and the Rust-Oleum Rust Reformer works very well at slowing it down and pretty much bringing it to a dead stop. You know, as long as you're not still exposing it to, you know, what was causing it, which, you know, on a car, you're not going to be exposing it. You know, this, this, this was a daily driver at some point. But I think what we're going to do for here, we're going to down to here. We will drill out our spot welds that we got in here. There's a, there's a few spot welds that are in there. Uh, I think what I'm also going to do, since uh, part of this is going to be exposed, we're going to see if we can try and straighten out some of this frame rail. There's some pretty, uh, some pretty fuckered pieces going on there, man. It's, it's, it's kind of tacoed in. So we're gonna see what we can do here. The other side, well, it's gonna be very similar. I think we can bend shape and, you know, manipulate what we uh, what we need to do. I just haven't decided whether I'm gonna use 16 gauge or the uh, 14 gauge, which I do have both. So we'll kind of see where we're gonna go. All right, I guess it's time to get cutting. We can fix that a little bit right there. We just, you know, just, just uh, go in here. And... Oh boy. Yeah. That's real good. That's a right part of that thing that we don't need to be a part of. Okay. Yay, trunk. Yep. Here's the thing when it comes to rust repair and floor pan repair. If you ask any body shop, you're doing it wrong. That's, that's what it boils down to. They're gonna say that you're, you're doing it wrong unless they're the ones that are doing it. So keep that in mind. You're not wrong. You know, you do the things to the best of your ability and um, 
that's what you rock and roll with. If all you can rock and roll with is some self tappers and uh, some, you know, scabbing some metal over it, then fine, whatever. Who's gonna notice it? Yeah, it's kind of. Is it kind of butch? Sure. Does it work for you at that time if you were on a budget? Yeah. Like I said, I'm just choosing to go this way because uh, I can. Even though. It would be so much faster and so much easier to just scab some metal over it and be like, you know what, I'm done. But, uh, I don't know. Do I claim to be an expert on things? Oh, God, no. Am I a decent fabricator? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. knows that these angles are not the easiest to work at. Uh -huh. I just want to get the most of the rust off here that I can so I can either treat it or I can replace it that's basically what it boils down to so yeah get a lot of scabby metal in here a lot of chunks a lot of little bits and pieces will come off of here Yeah, pulling more sh Whoa! <laughs> Sorry about that. Pull more out. Cause you know, this is the this is the fun stuff where we get the cut. Got some stuff to work with. And a st stupid rivet that is now gone. So hopefully this is all treatable. And well, I still gotta putz with this. So. described on that we did not go all the way through because we don't want to break up our, uh, our our frame rails here so maybe we get lucky and kind of work our magic in here and get this all separated and who knows oh we do got some movement 
That's good. So that means we went the, we went the right direction. All right. Ooh, nice. metal is gonna rip where it's not still connected which is fine we can grind that all down and do what we need to do all right Move more bad metal yay this up here i'm still undecided what i want to completely do here i know it's not the easiest to see but i don't know i'm deciding if i want to remove it if i want to just Cut the really shitty part of it off and I mean this is a structural piece so I'm gonna blast that down as best I can and do what I can to protect on that. Maybe we just do that. I mean it is pretty gnarly in there. Just cut it. More cutting! I think at this point it might be easier to get my air hammer in here. So here's what we're working with after we got all that other shit cut out. I think we got a pretty good workspace to start, uh, you know, making our patch panels here. Got most of the rust out, kind of ground down. So I'm pretty happy with this. What we'll end up doing is treating the rust and then um, probably start on the other side before I start working. Well, since I got all the tools out, I might as well just start on the other side and keep it dirty, right?
So here's what we got. It's not as bad as the other side. So this one we can probably do in one piece, which will rock on. I got a little cleanup to do on the bottom half, but uh, we're all looks pretty good. Let's see if I can get the light in there for a little bit. Well, we're gonna treat it and we'll make our templates and we'll make our sheet metal. Man, how it came out better than the other side did. All right. I'm also very interested to find out what the hell is lurking under here. So we're gonna, we're gonna cut into it and we're gonna find out. Yeah, good thing we didn't go ape shit on this because, you know, All right, so that is the torque box. Who wants to see where I made a fuck up? Yep. Right through it. I was trying to avoid that. We went a little deep. I was able to get good on the other. Get good. I was able to be good, do well, better on the other side. But yeah, that's our torque box. So this is still good. I can re-weld that little section right there anyway. So we'll be just fine. I just have to stop saying so. Hey, look, screws. Hmm. You can't get them. We'll, uh, yeah, I gotta get sheet metal. Turns out the stuff I got is either too thick or too thin. Hmm. We'll clean all that out. That'll get patched in. I think that about does it. Well, no, I still gotta do the other spots. Those I'm gonna do from underneath just to kind of patch them in. I mean, like I said before, they're still very solid, even though the corners are gone. The rest of the metal, I mean, right there. You, I can't even bend it with my with my thumb, and I'm pushing on it pretty hard. Ugh, gotta get the vacuum cleaner down in here. We should do that with the other side too. Hack it open. Just see what we got going on. Let's see. Got some scale and other stuff going on in there. Yeah, fun stuff. All right, time to head to the hardware store and pick up some metal. All right. Now that it has kind of cooled off and it's a balmy. Oh, I don't know, 80 something degrees in here, but it's only like 70 something outside because we had some cool weather move through. We're gonna make a template. Uh, 
using the old uh, tape method as I uh, sit here and kneel in this rust. So hopefully this all works. Great way to waste all your tape. So hopefully you got a few rolls. Or you could just leave the tape as your uh, as your uh, as your floor. I've seen people do it with uh, uh, flex tape. <laughs> so this is going to give you a general idea, as you can see, how it's all lumpy because the floor is not straight. But it's going to give you basically. A general idea of where your uh, where everything is going to line up. So you can kind of you can trace out where your And then what I like doing, now you can get your overlap, so we're gonna overlap about that much. And yay. So that's gonna be the overlap. So what we'll see now is if we can carefully, carefully, carefully peel this off. Okay, so we got our basic idea of what we want to do with the metal. Now comes the fun part. We're just gonna run our uh, our metal shear <laughs> and. Try to get the uh, straightest line that we can over our, uh, our, our whatchamacallit here. So, probably be a better idea to just take a razor blade to it and, uh, you know, straighten her out. I guess we'll just go for it and <laughs> kind of see what the tape does to the jaws of the, uh, of the shears. This should be interesting. Huh? Yeah, that we gotta get ourselves another piece of metal. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Alright, next part we already know that's our edge, so we'll just follow the tape line. marker because you know because things so make sure you mark it so you know which way you're going. Cool. 
here comes the fun part of playing the fittings. So what we'll do first is kind of go in, get the get the get the overlap we want. So we got that kind of going for us. And then, so we got this nice little, nice little bevel. Now what we need to do, maybe I'll get my brake out. Kind of need to get that. You know what? I think we'll just use the bench vise. You know, that's the only bad thing about making uh, videos and stuff. Everything takes like three times longer because you got to set up your shots and you know all that stuff no not your alcohol shots because you know i don't drink so we're gonna go about half inch hopefully we guess right i think a half inch overlap should be fine This stuff is pretty much easy enough to where we could just, you know, bend her by hand. We'll get her close. So this way we can get the fitment right on the rest of the stuff. So, as you can see, now we're starting to come together. We might have to do a couple of relief cuts in here. So, let's go back to the car. Find out how she fits in there uh, in, in, in said vehicle. As kaplunk, 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 kerplunk, kerplunk. Can I get you guys out here for this? Maybe. Oh, why does this keep moving? I'll tell you. Uh, not the best. Okay. You can see me. I need a little more light in here. How's that? How about that? Let me get some light. Am I still recording? Yes. There we go. Get some light in here so we can see what the hell we're doing. Plunk. Hey. So let's check our fitment. Not even close. So that's pretty cool. So, recently, oh, goodness. You gotta get creative sometimes. So, apparently, that needed to be on a slant. Which, that's okay, we can pound this back out. Oh, that's the beauty part about metal. We can pretty much pound everything back into shape. Which, uh, you can watch me. is terrible looking but we'll give us some extra strength see terrible but now it's kind of like there's a bead in there so it'll kind of give us a little more a little more added strength so this is actually straight and it needs to go kind of
that needs to come off. There's a little bit too much. Sealer. Ow. Ow. Market for reference, so we know where we're, where we're at here. All right. So what we can do in this situation? <laughs> Y'all can laugh, but it works. So what are we gonna do now? Come on, you guys are you got you, you guys already know. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot a self tapper into it just to hold it in place. These are temporary only. Okay, this is not a permanent thing. I mean, I'm not saying it couldn't be. If, 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 if you wanted to go that route, that's fine. You know. But this is all for shaping purposes and I want to be able to hold this in place while I do what I need to do. got that going and we need a different light because this one needs to be charged all right now we got a couple of self tappers in here and we got a dead blow and where's my gloves uh. so now I love it. Okay. Then we'll do the top corner. Drop it
Where's my good hammer? You know, the one that actually has some oomph, oomph behind it. Eh. It's just patch panels. It's not rocket science. Well, at least we have places that we can plug weld or burn through. You know, whatever, whatever we feel like doing. Get a tapper in there and hold that in place. Oops. These are just little guys, so they're not going to leave big, huge uh, holes. shape this thing. So let's get in here and take a look. Okay, semi-permanent. No, it's not permanent. Yeah. <sighs> so we're done here and we got it all set up and got things. Yes, those are self-tappers as I said on the last one. Semi-permanent. No, we're not leaving the self-tappers in there. It's just so that we could get the piece held in and kind of get things shaped the way we want because this metal is malleable enough to work with here. It's uh, 20 gauge, just like that they use on the uh, on the body here. So same thickness and everything. So this one is gonna be kind of fun to do, but that one's not so bad. So we got at least one patch made so far. So yay, there's, th there, there's that. Now I got another chunk of metal in there, which I could probably just put on there, screw it in and start beating the hell out of it and beat it into shape instead of doing the the, the tape trick is, you know, stuff. I don't know. There's so many different ways that you can do this. And like I said before, any body shop will tell you that every single which way that you're doing is wrong. Okay? And that the right way is to replace the whole floor pan by them. And you pay for it by them. But, you know, like I said, this, this ain't butch. We're going for it. All right, that's slightly but We're going for the, you know, the, the best that we can do with what we got and the best way to go about it. Okay, let's get cracking on this thing. So we'll see how well we can do this without our camera falling over. So what I'm basically gonna do is, I'm not gonna do the tape one on this because I already know like what we need. So we're gonna kind of set this sort of in place with the overlap that we want is going to be probably about there-ish, maybe. Maybe-ish. Then we'll come down at the bottom and kind of mark where our, uh, mark where our, our stuff is going to kind of line up. All right. Okay. I'm going to take it. Kind of was thinking here. We're going to give ourselves a little 
think we're gonna go a little bit wider and give ourselves some some extra room and kind of cut along here now the other thing is too on this we need to do like a 90 i want to do like a half inch 90 so we'll do it we're gonna do it like straight up so we'll do a little snip a little snip and we're gonna do up like kind of in here so that it fits along here where's my hammer oh, dude my legs are killing me today um, i have to grind that down but what i want to do is i want to put i'm going to cut this start fitting it and I want to get it to a spot we're gonna notch it we're gonna set a lip up here so that it comes up onto here kind of like how our other one did over there and then uh, we'll go from there all right so we hacked our metal down now it's trying to find all this the, 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 the sweet spots because we don't want to well ooh, I like that I do like that a lot how far is our overlap? We got a nice overlap too. That will work. We can pound that in. We could lay it right over the other one too. I mean, it's not really going to matter, honestly. I mean, I could nibble this down. Do I really want to? No. Actually, right there. It's pretty sweet. This light is really starting to tick me off because I got no good lighting today. All my lights are dying. This damn flickering. So what we'll do here, we got this nice arch. We're gonna cut a relief cut in there and then we're gonna and then, could I get a light? Uh, I suppose that's out of the question, huh? I got like five of these things and none of them fucking work. All right, now that I'm seeing spots because I put in the light and I can't, uh, you know, see anything, but I can see better. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut a little kind of got a, a good general idea of where we want to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a, I'm going to cut a little relief right there. So I think that's where our, well, let's see here. I go to there, to there, to there, to there. Where's the I can pie cut it if I need to. So I'm gonna create a relief cut here with these tin snips that are probably not gonna do dick. <clears throat> oh well, that worked better than I thought it would. So we'll just section a little triangle out of there. So that's about what we want. And we'll take that over to the vise and we're gonna put a bend in it. I'd put it on my brake, but yeah. Stuff. All right, so we got our, our bends here. Yeah, we could probably take the sticker off. I think that would help. Uh huh. That's nice. Whatever. No one's going to be it anyway. And then, well. What we can do, we can nibble out what we need to nibble out. Because that needs to get nibbled out.
All right. So let's take our tin snips. Gotta have strong hands to do this too. So that can be a little bit. We get it enough. Reference lines. Almost. Super close. Just gotta take a little bit more off. We'll go just a little bit lower. Okay. Yes, we have some overlap. That is okay. What is it hitting on here? The floor really that much harder? But our uh our crease is kind of not in the best of spots. It follows that and it follows that, but it doesn't follow down here. And part of that has to do with this right here. You know, I mean, kind of technically, it should be more along those lines, but you see, there's a piece that comes over here that mounts to here, and then the original metal pan goes over that well let's see i don't have that but maybe i can create re recreate that using yeah we can do that get a nice arc on it and then we can fold it into where we need it to go you can always give that a shot i mean you know. Let's go over here so we can overlap. This way, it'll be so. Cut that off fold this over and maybe we get a better deal half of it this is this is my old school way of doing this Sticker, get off me. We'll connect the lines, kind of like connect the dots, but there's no dots. Right. Sweet now. We just cut that again. Man, this is gonna be a long video. I don't know, see I usually find it better when I just wing it. That I can usually get more of what I'm looking for out of my uh, out of my stuff. So now we need to do is tapper that. And then we can pound it into place. I could leave it up a little bit and I could get a weld on it. Hmm. Man. Because then I could just beat the hell out of it until it falls into shape. So go there. 
So I got that going for me. That, I got that. Uh huh. I can put a couple of tacks down at the bottom. Arc it. It's like I may have to set up my new sander and everything. No way. Oh, that's like perfect. Oh, that is fantastic. So just weld that on there. Yeah, little zip, 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 and then beat, beat, beat. Maybe we kind of nudge that out a little bit, huh? Or that's originally what it was supposed to supposed to do. So, compound, compound cuts. Not always the easiest. But if you can get it just, oh yeah, if you can get the wheel in there. Flatten that back out once we get it where we need it. I'm gonna have to hook my grinder up and go back at that and zzz, 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 zzz. Oh, Just gotta shave a little more off, huh? shape that's a metal dove made to, made to go into shapes kind of round. so yeah this is the boring part of all of this you know trying to get things to fit and yeah I'm pretty happy. Ooh, that's that's the stuff right there. With that, we can knock this down. We'll keep this angle here. Let's see if we can shoot a couple of little tappers in there to hold our piece in place. I said screw it and just brought the whole thing. <sighs> Cause you know, it just makes more sense at this point. Plus, the beauty part about all of this, besides the spaghetti that we got going on here, uh, uh, let me tell you, 
once everything has been kind of mocked up, then I can pull it apart. I can rust treat everything. That's the beauty part. I can do the rust treatment. And then we just go. Why come I do this now? All right. Well, best of luck to us in this one and trying to get this one in. That's exactly what I want. Put one right next to the other one. That'll probably work better. So all it's got to do is basically hold it in place. So if we give that a little tappy tap tap, should be able to give that a little. Yep. Nope. Is that touching? That's what we want to do here. And around there. All right. So let's see how this goes against there. I could probably move this up now, too. Like, I know this is boring to watch. Uh, a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, kind of like, like, you know, here's our thing. There's our beam. So I think the idea is in the right place. You just gotta get some soft tappers in there to manipulate. Sorry for the shitty angles. How's that? All right. Probably end up cutting a lot of this off too. A lot of this I'm just gonna beat into submission. Ugh. Oh, you're holding. 
Yeah. Where's the hammer? Probably gonna have to zip. Yeah, oh, that's probably gonna have to go bye bye. All of that right there. Zip off. Gone. That's what I'm thinking. Because it's probably in the way. But I'm thinking that is tomorrow's problem. Ah. <sighs> All right, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up for this one. So stick around for the next one. We're going to get deeper into uh, our patch panels here. You know, more fab, hopefully some welding, and uh, we'll rock it from there. So remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. Hit the bell notification so you know when I release videos, all right? I'll see you in the next one. Later.